What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Team of the Season Deriv. He is the 92 Dutch center back from Inter Milan. He is a two star, four star with the six foot two in height and a medium high attack and defensive work rate. He is right footed and he has the power header trait and that is it. In terms of his stats, honestly, it doesn't look awful. He's got 83 pace on the base and the acceleration and sprint speed are nicely split. Sometimes we see with these defenders, their acceleration is absolutely in the mud, but then his sprint speed is like 85. So it's nice to see that he's got the split because the shadow now gives you 94 acceleration and 93 sprint speed. So that's very, very nice. He has got great composure. His reaction time is amazing. Defensively is absolutely solid. And with the shadow, you will get 99 defending, which turns him into a 96 center back overall. His physicals, 80 stamina. It's not the greatest in the world, but I mean, as in, it will definitely do. Um, personally, I think his strength and aggression are absolutely fantastic. His jumping's up there. We've got a good short and long pass on him as well. He looks solid. His agility balance are above average. They're, they're again, not the greatest we've seen. We've seen 80s and 90s, but 70s definitely will still do. I think if you're going below 70 into the 60s, very much like a Skriniar. That's when you kind of get a little bit of a problem. Sometimes then the turning just becomes far too much because the attackers that we've got nowadays, nowadays the the Wamans, um, obviously the Cortinos, the Costas, already having a Neymar and Mbappe, they're going to be far too quick for the defenders. Whereas Deriv looks in the middle ground. He doesn't look like top meta, but then he doesn't look awful. So I'm going to put him somewhere in the middle at the moment. We're going to give him the chance. He's coming in on foot bin, currently at 120. We went and bought him yesterday at 97. So hopefully we may make a little bit of profit on him, which would be fantastic. Deriv, ah, oh, he makes the tackle, but De Bruyne is going to make it through. What a save from Schmeichel. Again, Deriv, I feel like he's going to be a great defender. I just think he's going to have them flaws. He gets it away there. He's going to be good at the, at the basics, I reckon. He's going to be a nice little pass out. He's going to get that interception. He's going to get the tackles in. Pace-wise, he's going to be average to good, but I don't feel like he's going to be the kind of Varane sort of level. That's going to be saved for, for some of the big boys. Deriv. Takes it away from Cantona. I feel like he did enough there. Deriv takes it away from Mbappe. Lovely stuff. You can see the kind of agility side of him. He's, he's still a little bit slower than the normal. But again, how many times are you dribbling with a centre-back? Deriv, interception again. And again with the interception. Doing absolute work. Deriv stays away. Oh, Romero's going to do the, the unwork for him. Oh, Deriv just pushing it in front of Messi to stop him from having that. Deriv ah, doesn't get the challenge. Mbappe, ah, he's got a goal back. Good tackle by Deriv away. Lovely interception again from him. Deriv again getting in the way. Honestly, his AI blocking is on point in this game. In absolutely everybody's business. Romero not allowing him to get away with that one. Beautiful again, Deriv. Interception master at the moment. Deriv, Messi's going to run away from him this time. He knows that the interception was coming. And again, look at him. He's just, he's a solid tackler. And that's what I, what I thought about him. He was going to be someone that really can push you to the limits um, in terms of his defensive ability. Mane, oh, that's stunning. But he's going to be somebody that can tackle, can have that interceptions, and really will do wonders in the team. He's just not going to have... The extra package, the passing, the really fine dribbling, the insane pace of 95 plus. So going into the overall four big boy Deriv then, honestly, better than what I thought. Really, really good centre back. We can just get rid of this ad. So in terms of what he's, what he's about, what he's going to be doing for you. Pace-wise was decent. I didn't notice that he was kind of like lacking too much against some of the opponents. Obviously, when you've got the likes of Mbappe, Nene, Coutinho, Waman, Saar, Palat, the, the list, you know what I mean, goes on forever. So when you've got them sorts of opponents coming against you, you've got to watch your space. When they've got 99 pace easily, you need to make sure that your 83 or 93 uh, pace centre back can keep up with him. And obviously, there was some elements that maybe, yes, he could have been a little bit faster, but for the most part, I was very happy. The big thing that I really noticed with him, especially when you add that shadow on, was his interceptions. 
absolutely incredible. He just seemed to always be in that right spot to put a foot out, and he managed to get the ball. Tackling-wise was fantastic. His physical side was brilliant. Passing-wise, again, we don't really notice that too much. There wasn't really any stray passes going on. So in the most part, I was quite happy with his overall performance as a centre-back. And I think most definitely for 120, with upgrade packs coming out tonight... I expect him to drop a little bit more, potentially, depending on, obviously, the weight of everything. But so far, so good with him. I think 92 rated, nice Dutch links. Obviously, you've got a few decent Dutch players in there that really can, uh, as you can imagine, your Hullets, your Cruyffs, your Van Dykes, your... Uh, I'm trying to think who else is in the mid in the defence. Let's have a look at the defenders for him, actually. Um, can we just click defenders? Yeah. Uh, Komen, I suppose, yeah. Komen's quite a big one this year. Kaliba, uh, Singraven, St. Just... There's a few decent Dutch players, as you can imagine. And then, obviously, the big one in the midfield has got to be team of the season, De Jong. You've got Wijnaldum. You've got Robben, Fur. There's a lot of good players, as you can imagine. So, for me, I think he's he's in, the, he's in the right crowd. He's doing quite well. I think Virgil this year hasn't been what... Well, obviously, he's been injured. But in terms of kind of like his team of the year card... I don't think it's been as meta as obviously last year. He was just in everybody's team. This year, I very rarely ever see a Virgil. So it kind of tells you the, the levels we're at right now. Derib's coming in quite nice. I'm going to give him an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Let me know down below what you think about him. Make sure you like and subscribe on the video. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace. Make sure you hit the bell button.